what's up guys, it's Steph, and welcome to my Sabathon TBR. And these, don't ask about these, I was just having a little sob fest before we even started piling up the books for the Sabathon. A bunch of my booktube friends, who I will all link in the description down below, have decided to create their own readathon, and it's gonna be awesome, okay? <laughs> We're all gonna cry together, and it'll be amazing. But yes, they created the Sabathon, and the whole point of it is to find some books and cry. But you don't have to cry, but if you do, it's bonus points. Not really, they don't add up, but bonus points if you actually do cry. We're reading the sad ones for this readathon, and it's gonna be really fun. It's a week long readathon, you get five books, one group book, four of your choosing, and it's gonna be a blast. So, starting May 21st to the 27th, and I honestly don't know if this video will go up on the 18th or actually on the 21st, aka the first day of the Sabathon. So, whenever you see this, hey, it's my CBR, guys! As I said, there are five categories, one being the group book, which is at the very bottom of the list, and the first four being books you're choosing to fit the four categories left. Number one is read a book that you've been putting off because you know it'll make you too emotional. I don't know how emotional this book will make me, but I've definitely been putting off because it seems kind of sad, and that's Rules for 50-50 Chances. This is a novel by Kate McGovern about this girl who, when she turns 18, she gets to take this test that tells her whether she has this life-damaging and crippling disease that her mother has, or if she'll be okay to live a healthy, normal life and live her dreams. So she doesn't really want to do anything and love anyone until she takes that test. But of course, there's a boy that comes into her life. And that'll probably make it sadder if she does have this disease. If she doesn't, it'll be happy. But I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how it'll turn up. I haven't read any reviews of this book. I got it um, early in the year, I think February? January? I've had this book for a bit now. Don't make plans you can't keep. Falling in love confuses everyone, so don't do it. <laughs> Knowledge is power, and rules are meant to be broken. So I feel like it's going to be a sad one, so I've been putting it off, but this readathon is a good excuse to jump into it. Number two is a bit happier. Read a book that'll make you cry from happiness. And for that, I think we're going to go with Yes Man by, where's his name? Danny Wallace. This one I got last year, I believe. I have started it, and not even that far in, 12 pages in, I was dying of laughter. This book is really funny. It's about this guy who, for, I believe, six months to a year, he decides to say yes to everything. He just had a really bad breakup, going through all the motions, and he's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start saying yes to all these experiences that I'm offered. And the hilarity ensues. It's based on him actually doing it. And so far, it's it's been hilarious, and I'm really excited that, to pick it back up again, because it's been a while. It's been a while. Number three, reread a book that destroyed your emotions. This comes as no surprise to anyone. What I'm choosing. Thanks, Adam Silvera. Number four is read a book under 300 pages. And honestly, I wanted to read more happy than not, but it is just over 300 pages, so that didn't happen. So instead, I'm going to read from one of the emo kings himself, Gray. This is from Pete. You know it's gonna be some emo shit. And it's under 300 pages by, I think, just a couple, barely fits the margin. So yeah, I am totally reading it. 224, oh no, it fits from a good margin. 228 pages. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's just fitting to read something extremely emo in something that, an event that you're supposed to cry during. So, hope you make me cry, Pete. Maybe I'll listen to Foley while it happens, because that has some good tear jerkers. What a catch, Donnie. Yep, um, it'll happen. And number five is read the group book, which is The Astonishing Color of After, which... Thank you, Kindle sales I have on my my, my e-reader. So I will be reading that. I was afraid at first that I wasn't going to be able to read it because I don't have the money to pick up the physical copy. I really want to, though. It's such a pretty book. as like this crane stork on the cover because it is about this, this character who loses her mother and she believes that her mother comes back as a crane. So she travels back to her home country, connects, I believe, with her grandparents, and all the while she's trying to find her mother who she believes is reincarnated as this crane. It's about dealing with loss and... All these things, I've really been wanting to read it. It's been a really anticipated read for me, and I got it on my e-reader, so I'm really excited to be reading that. And yeah, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. That's my TBR for the Sawathon. I'm ready to cry. I'm ready to feel emotions. It's going to be great. Who moved my magnet from my locker? If you guys want to participate in the Sawathon, it's from the 21st to the 27th of May. It's going to be so fun, and by fun, I mean emotionally heartbreaking because we're reading sad books. So if you want to be sad with us, go ahead and join. As I said before, all of the creators of this this readathon will be linked in the description down below. They're all my friends. Go give them a follow. They'll be doing this all week. I will be vlogging this week. 
but if they'll go up on my usual days so on wednesday it'll be days one and two on friday it'll be kind of the rest of it and that's gonna be my videos for this week if i'm posting this on monday i don't know if i'm posting this on friday the 18th or monday the 21st I don't know. You guys tell me when it goes up. I hope you'll enjoy the Sobathon if you're participating, if you're just going to watch some videos. I hope you'll enjoy those as well because we all love a good cry. I know I do. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you want to see my last video, which I don't know what the hell it was at this point, it'll be right up here. And if you want to see a different video because that one was... <laughs> then you can check right here. I don't know what the hell they'll be yet, but they're there. If you want to subscribe, my face will be right here as well as the red button. You make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Especially if you want to keep up on my Sabathon vlogs because they're gonna happen. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely day slash night. And I'll see you later on the other side of the tear trail.